Full screen of death. No! No! Sorry, flashbacks to a traumatic time. What's up guys, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5. Attention Windows users. At this point, you've probably heard about Windows 10. Microsoft made the OS a free upgrade for many of its existing users, and when it's released, you could only upgrade your existing system. But what if you wanted to do a completely clean installation of Windows 10? Now you can. In this video, we'll show you how to turn your existing PC into a fresh new Windows 10 system. Bonus for anyone who's planning on upgrading before July 29th, your upgrade from Windows 7 or 8 is still completely free. Before we get started, please, please, please back up your existing files. This goes for any new OS install and it should be a golden rule right up there with treat others like you'd like to be treated and never make eye contact when eating a banana. Step one, download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool from the Windows 10 Upgrades site. We've added a link in the description to make it easy. Make sure you scroll down the page a bit and select the link that says download tool now. This is an important step, otherwise you won't be doing a clean install. Step two, you'll need to create a bootable flash drive. Find a flash drive that's at least three gigabytes and make sure there's no files on it that you wanna keep. Everything will be erased off the drive during this next step. Find your fancy new media creation tool and run the program. Select create installation media for another PC when prompted. You'll be given a few options to choose from when creating your USB. Select the language, edition, and either 64 or 32 bit. If you're installing on the same system you use to download the tool, Microsoft will select its own recommended options, which is nice. Select Next and wait for the download. This part could take a while depending on the speed of your USB and your internet connection, so grab a cup of coffee or tea and take a break. Step three, once that's all completed, it's time to boot from the USB. Shut down the PC and restart your system. Most systems don't automatically boot from a USB when one is available, so you'll probably have to choose the option when your system restarts. Every system's a little bit different. You may need to go into your system settings or BIOS to get that option. Check with your manufacturer if you're having trouble. Step four, we are officially at the point of no return, running the installer. Remember, we're going to be doing a fresh install of Windows, so whatever information might be on your hard drive will be erased after this. The install process itself is pretty easy. Windows will ask you a few questions. First, enter the license key from either Windows 7, 8, or 10. The installer only mentions Windows 10 at this point, but you can use all three. Then it will ask your type of install, and you'll want to select Custom, Install Windows Only. Then it will ask where you'd like to install the new operating system. The hard drive we're using already has some info on it that we've already backed up. We're going to erase everything and make sure it starts with an empty drive. Again, it's coffee time. Or 11Zs, or whatever kind of break you need, because this part takes a little bit. Windows will then ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network and input your Microsoft login. You can always create a new one if necessary. Now you are pretty much done. The fifth step is really just making sure you keep your new Windows 10 running smoothly by keeping it up to date. Windows updates will keep you up to date with performance, drivers, and security to help the system run better. You can adjust the settings to update automatically, ask you first, update at specific off-peak hours, etc. So that's it. Enjoy your PC that should now feel like it's brand new all over again. Thank you so much for watching DIY in 5. Please like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more everyday tech tips and cool videos. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and I'll see you next week.